podcast video review. Today we're going to be looking at the O2 XDA Ignito. Okay, so let's start off by taking a look at the actual specification of the O2 XDA Ignito. Inside you've got a 528MHz Qualcomm processor backed by 192MB of RAM. Inside you've got 4GB of flash internal storage memory, HSDPA up to 72 megabits per second, GPS, built-in accelerometer for detecting which way the device is up, built-in Wi-Fi courtesy of the A0211 B and G chip built-in, uh, 3.2 megapixel camera on the back and a VGA camera for video conferencing and taking photos on the front. And you've also got the operating system running Windows Mobile 6.1, the latest version from Microsoft. Okay, let's take a look at the design of their O2 XDA Nito. You've got a 2.8 inch display with a resolution of 640 by 480, which is actually incredibly impressive for a device of this size. The unit itself only weighs 110 grams of the built-in battery and uh, you've also got a thickness of just under half an inch. Volume keys and power buttons are actual physical keys as are the keys on the front for tactile feedback but the rest of the actual functionality and most of the keys themselves are actually built onto the software so it's operated by the touchscreen. Now you can use your finger to access the touchscreen or you can use the built-in stylus which is actually quite cleverly hidden into the side of the unit and secured magnetically so when you push it back in to a certain extent it just pulls itself back in and locks itself into place there. So that's quite a, a nice design touch there. O2 have done a good job on actually building this unit. Doesn't creak in your hands, very solid, very good quality and a brilliant display on the front for very good clarity and good resolution. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the features that you'll find on the O2 XDA Ignito. I'm going to flick straight through to the pictures section here. I'm using the stylus to operate it today. Now you can flick through your videos and your pictures. Very simple, just a quick swipe. Just demonstrate using it with your finger. You can do that. And double tapping on them should load it up in its uh, full screen view there. Now use an accelerometer. If I rotate, obviously it's not it's already in the correct proportion already anyway. If I tilt it and rotate it, you'll see that the picture has changed orientation. And if I rotate it back, it changes. And again you can swipe through your pictures. In a similar fashion to what you'll find on other touchscreen devices. And you can also play video. So you want to play it in a landscape view, automatically changes. It's a gorgeous display, 640 by 480 VGA resolution on a 2.8 inch display, one of the highest that you can get in the market today. Okay, so another feature I want to show you is the um, web browser. So let's just jump straight to that. Now by default the O2 XDA Ignito ships with Internet Explorer for mobile devices as well as an Opera mobile Opera. Opera Mobile. This is currently connecting through the GPRS connection because where I'm situated I don't actually get a 3G reception with O2. Um, but obviously you can switch to Wi-Fi if you have that option. So that's loaded. And that's on full screen. And again you can use your finger to scroll as well. So let me load up a, a more uh, complex website. Favourites. Let's go to um, TechCast Reviews. That's quite a graphic heavy website and as you can see it's loading impressively quickly actually through the GPRS connection. Now you see the zoomed out view there. I just tap or double tap. It allows you to zoom in and the toolbars disappear, the auto sense when you actually want the full display. So using your finger you can actually scroll around. And it kind of has that scrolling animation. Got the usual set of functionality such as bookmarks as well as ability to load up new tabs. So I want to go to the home page there. And switch between the two websites or even load up a new one. 
So a very quick on the haul. There's a whole range of different kind of applications that come with the O2 XDA Agneto. So let's take a look at some of them. So I'm using the TouchFlow 3D interface again to access the uh, menu system. And here you can see uh, a wall of applications that come pre-built with the unit. You can also set your own application shortcuts with the second menu screen there. So you've got things like Windows Live integration, Mail, your radio, YouTube, also this little uh, accelerometer game which I'm just going to load up. Okay, so using the accelerometer you control the movement of the ball. I'm just going to see how well I'm able to do this in front of the camera. So by tilting you get um, force feedback through the vibration every time you touch the wall, the ball touches the wall and drops into a hole. You get feedback, so just demonstrate some of the capabilities and the, the power of the handset. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to get this one. Let's try a different way. Nope. Okay, so maybe this isn't my game, but um, you can see as an example the use of the accelerometer there, which can be quite effective. Let's quit out of that one. And from the start menu, you can access the full range of applications and programs that the unit ships with. So things like mobile office, PDF readers, digital camera and video recording, a few games, they're all built straight into the unit. So a whole host of applications come pre-shipped with the unit. And obviously you have the ability to download new ones. Another one of the nice features about the O2X Dagnito is the fact that it's got a built-in media playback facility straight from the home screen using the TouchFlow interface and it does it quite nice. So things like your album art, okay, you can flick through that. You can play straight from the home screen. And it carries on playing whilst you move on to other applications and other menus. So overall, the O2 XDA Agneto is probably the best Windows Mobile smartphone you can get on the market today. It's got a great set of applications that come bundled with it, as well as a great set of connectivity options ranging from Wi-Fi to 3G data rates. It's no iPhone killer, but it's great for entertainment as well as in the office workspace.